Good day, Grade 11s. Welcome to this final lesson of Grade 11 Maths. We're still doing statistics, and this time we're going to be looking at scatter plots. So this thing here is a scatter plot. Basically, it is a graph that is used to plot bivariate data. In other words, data when we have two variables. So in this case, you see that we've got two different variables here. Now. It's also used to show the relationship between the two variables so we can see if something is a positive relationship or a negative or if there's any relationship whatsoever. We use it to draw a best fit line. In these cases and what you're doing in grade 11, the only type of best fit line you're going to be looking at are straight line graphs, but you do get other types of best fit lines and also we can use it to identify outliers. So now let us look. We've got three different types of scatter plots here. Now, if it looks like this, in other words, if the scatter plot can be seen to have basically a line of best fit, which would be a positive straight line, we say that the data has a positive correlation. If the best fit line is a negative straight line graph, we say that it has got a negative correlation, a negative correlation, and if there is no correlation, seriously it looks like someone's just randomly dotted things down on the piece of paper, then there is no correlation. So if we cannot fit a baseline to it, there is no correlation. Finally, if you see your data and you'll see that you've got this beautiful baseline fit over here and then you've got this random little data point up here and another one out here. If you have data points that are very far away from your best fit line, these are called outliers. And that's it, grade 11s. That is it for grade 11 maths. We have done everything. Please make sure you understand your correlations of your scatter plots and whether or not you have a positive correlation or negative correlation and how you identify your outliers. Have a great day, grade 11s.